Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacle Math Mania. My name is Captain S123 and today we will be working on multiplication of whole numbers. To multiply means to add equal groups. Multiplication can be done via repeated addition, which is just like skip counting. This is a sign for multiplication. Repeated addition means to add equal groups of the same number over and over. And that is a simple way to do and figure out multiplication. Let's check it out. Look at the addition of the carrots below. The repeated addition for this would be 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. And the multiplication would be 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6. This means 3 sets of 2 equals 6. One way to represent multiplication is by the use of an array. As you can see, the above array has 4 rows of 6, which gives us a multiplication sentence 4 multiplied by 6, and our answer is 24. Look at this array. This one has 6 rows of 4, which gives us the multiplication sentence of 6 multiplied by 4, which also equals 24. A very important thing to note is that multiplication is commutative, meaning changing the order of the factors does not change the answer. 6 multiplied by 4 equals 24, and if we switch it around to 4 multiplied by 6, the answer is still 24. Isn't that cool? When using arrays, you can write the multiplication number sentence by counting the number down and then across. Then, counting all the items together will give us the answer to the multiplication sentence. Let's move on to multiplication without regrouping. Multiplication without regrouping means when we multiply any two digits, the answer is between 0 and 9. It's question time. We have 2342 multiplied by 2. When multiplying in columns, we start with multiplying our bottom number with our ones, then tens, then hundreds, and so on. So first we do, 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4, 4 goes in the answer space under the ones column, then 2 by 4 equals 8, 8 goes in the answer space under the tens column, then 2 by 3 equals 6, 6 goes in the answer space under the hundreds column, and lastly, 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4. 4 goes under the answer space in the thousands column. Notice that all the answers are between 0 and 9, so they were all placed into the answer spot. On to multiplication with regrouping. Multiplication with regrouping means that when we multiply two digits, the answer is 10 or more. In this case, the answer must be separated with a second digit being placed into the answer place for that column and the first being carried across to the column to the left to be added in after that number is multiplied. Let's do a practice question for you to get the hang of it. 3243 multiplied by 3. We first do 3 multiplied by 3 which gives us 9. We put 9 in our answer place underneath the 1's column. Now we do 3 multiplied by 4 which gives us 12. We cannot put the entire two digits in the answer space. So our second digit stays which is 2 and our first digit goes across to the hundreds column to be added in over there. Now we do 3 multiplied by 2 which is 6 but don't forget to add the one we just regrouped to give us 7. And lastly 3 multiplied by 3 gives us 9. Our answer is 9,729. Fantastic job on multiplication with and without regrouping. Thank you for visiting MathCC today. Try the exercises on Pinnacle.com to earn points and win great prizes.